Hey bad bitches, it's your best girl Puzzle Stevie, keeping it real, and today is our first pregnancy update. Woo, the baby is coming. No, well, who knows, actually, that's the update. We went to the vet, apparently no baby. I still think there's a baby. Like, I'm not convinced. I don't trust this vet one little bit. And Biggie's still, like, acting all pregnant and, like, they're saying it could be a phantom pregnancy or, like, she could just be having a bloodless period cycle, but that's been going on for way too long if it is. Like, so, yeah, we're just kind of, they told me to wait it out. Like, great advice, vets. Like, awesome. That's what you want, like, is to just wait it out. Like, I didn't want to prepare for the puppies or anything. So, like... You can say how big a deal this is in my life. Like, I am so worked up. I didn't even do a proper intro. I didn't even tell you to like this video. I didn't even tell you to subscribe to my channel. I didn't even tell you anything, like, that I normally would because my brain is so consumed with pup, 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 puppies, you know? So, I'm pretty convinced from my gut feeling of talking to Biggie's stomach that we're having two girls and a boy. I don't know what breed they are yet. <laughs> I can't psychic that much into her stomach, but like, that's what my gut is telling me. So, yeah, that's where we're at. Like, the whole pregnancy testing for dogs apparently is very, like, like, there's a very small window because the carrying period is so short. Like, so, there's only a very small period in which you will pick up the puppies in any kind of pregnancy test. Um, the vets advised me, even though I wasn't really that concerned about the cost, they advised me to not get any extra tests done and they kind of made it clear that they weren't going to do extra tests like which is like why what is wrong with you you get the money but like they were like you'll know soon enough like so that sucks my reason for not trusting the vet is one I saw the test they did it's just like a little stomach poke like she didn't even get in there she didn't even like really examine the vulva like whatever so like it didn't look that thorough like I just as much of a test at home and I'm pretty sure I can feel a heartbeat so other than Biggie's because it would be weird if Biggie didn't have one but like so that's like part one part two is when biggie was at the vets for the sexing like they just didn't seem to bond with her which is just ridiculous because everybody who spends any time with biggie bonds with her and so like she was there and just not getting her surgery done for ages and i see every time i go there they've just got a random dog behind the like behind the desk with them just a different one every time like why wouldn't they have picked biggie like why like she's so loving so like they didn't even put any effort into getting to know her which makes me just think like i don't trust them i don't like them i don't like nobody oh here she comes she hears her name her ears are burning hey baby hey baby hey look at you you can't even get your pregnant belly up Hey, say hello. Say hello, Biggie Smalls. Small pregnant belly. Like, look at your baby bump. Yes, yeah, see, isn't she pregnant? Doesn't she look pregnant? I think she's pregnant. So, my jawbreaker palette, palette is meant to be arriving today. I'm so pumped. Like, so pumped. Um, I didn't really have much else to talk about, like, other than pregnancy. Um, yeah, so they didn't bond with her. Like, when I went in together, they were just like, she's fat. Like, nothing. Like, didn't say goodbye to her. Nothing. Like, and... Like, I just don't trust the vet because of that. Like, I know that they're around animals all day and whatever, but, like, that's it. They should love the animals. They should care about them. And then to have the most lovable animal and not have, like, formed some kind of bond with it. Like, nah, uh, 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 uh. Ah, oh, sister, no, no way, that doesn't happen like that. Like, who are you kidding? Like, I don't like this vibe that they're giving me where they just don't care about my dog. Like, so, it's like, do I go to another vet? Do I start going to another vet? Like, hopefully I won't need to go to the vets too often. Like, I'm booked in for her sexing in, like, ten weeks. So, like, yeah, like, that's cute, that's cool, that's quirky, that's fun, that's quite... A step in the right direction because oh my god we were at the park yesterday and this like little cocker spaniel like not cocker spaniel king charles that like, cavalier spaniel those really dumb looking ones was like obsessed with biggie's coochie and so like it was like running and like chasing around and like doing these weird like backflips trying to like showboat and stuff and then like pissing everywhere and trying to like hump her and i was like it'll get away you're like two centimeters big like my dog is not getting impregnated by you and then like so like it's it wouldn't go to a donor so like she had to end up like getting it and like putting it on its lead and i went the other way with biggie and then like we're just playing at the park and then it comes back when we do the lap and like i'm just like oh my god no it won't stop like humping her and getting up on it so i pick biggie up and i'm like walking away and it's just like the owner's nowhere 
nowhere to be seen. Like, watch your fucking dog. Like, she was there with, like, a group of friends. Like, one of those clicky dog moms. Hate them. And, like, so this dog, like, literally is standing under my feet trying to jump at my dog. And I'm, like, try I don't I'm not meaning to kick it or stand on it. But it's, like, jumping under my feet. I can't see it because I'm, like, looking, holding my dog, like, looking like walking out like and it follows me all the way to the exit of the park and I'm like are you fucking kidding me why has its fucking owner not like tried to stop it like and then because she was too busy being clicky I'm freaking sick of these clicky dog moms and then yeah like so then these random people came up and they were like oh my god like um I was like that's not my dog like get it away like that's the reason why leaving I'm not happy with that dog and then they were like oh my god like where's its owner I was like I don't even freaking know she's probably being clicky somewhere and they were like ugh like we'll help you like and and they're like, come on, because I was like trying to shoo it away. Like, I was going onto the road, like crossing the road, and it's like coming up. And so I'm like, shoo, shoo, shoo. Like, I kept doing that the whole time at the park. I was like telling it, go away. And it was like, shoo. And I was trying to do angry voice, but like not too angry, because like in case people at the park are like, why are you doing angry voice with a dog that's not your dog? So like, then, yeah, like I was trying to shoo it, and it just wouldn't go. So these people tried to like get it to walk away and walk the other way and follow them, and then it wouldn't go. So they had to like pick it up. And they're like, we'll go find its owner. And I was like, well, thank God, like someone will. And then, like, we couldn't go to the park and so we had to go for a stupid walk around a stupid thing like where we didn't even stupid want to go because some stupid humper dog and a stupid clicky mum like it really pissed me off I'm really irate about it so that's that that sucked and we really want to stop things like that happening so distracting in the near future yes please um yeah other than that my week's been pretty uneventful um yeah I just decided I want to have a butterfly theme in my <laughs> like in my decor so we've got some butterfly wings happening and like these things that look really messy right now but like they're gonna be cute i think i'm gonna get rid of these little materially ones and just have the beads um i've got like other ones over on the other side that actually have butterflies on them um yeah like you know wild ratchet fun butterfly that's like our theme we're going for like i made like this like pink like little whimsical skull thing i'm gonna like redo it though like I just like the pink glitter, but I'm not, like, feeling how opaque it is. I'm not feeling... I need to put more of the beads on it. I made this, like, orange and yellow one. Like, that's a bit tropical summer sunset. And I've got another one that's originally painted pink with, like, neon, like, accents. But I'm going to do it, like, black with, like, gold spikes. So that's going to be cute. Watch out for that. Um, yeah, anyway. This video was kind of random, kind of pointless. Kind of like me. So, on that note, I'm going to tell you to... Please like it anyway, like you hopefully like me anyway, and please subscribe to my channel and turn on post notifications so you don't miss any more little random updates like this, and like, just stay happy, stay safe, stay hump free, this is a hump free zone, okay, Alice the Camel, no humps, that's what we're going to call ourselves from now on, the Alice the Camel, no humps zone, alright, love you, bye. Hey bad bitches, it's your best gal pal Stevie, keeping it real, and Biggie, stop, oh, stop it, you were just sitting over there fine, go, we can't have a sit on my lap, which is kind of what today's story time is about, it's not really a story time, it's just a pregnancy update, whoop whoop, um, so, came around, got so excited for the puppies, like, literally, I'm pumped, my, like, I want them so bad, I'm really, like, I've embraced them, I'm owning them, I'm all about the pup, wake up this morning, blood, all over my couch, all over. She's either cut herself through an artery, or my heavy flow flowing bitch has heavy flowed. I don't want you to sit on me while you're flowing. It should be done. Like that's a lot on the couch. Um, can you sit on your side? Can you go on your side? So we are without pup, which we're kind of sad about. We've got our desexing date booked. Um, but I'm thinking of getting her pregnant before then, just like pretending it wasn't my fault again. I'm just doing it now that I've brought myself around to the idea of pups. Like, they would be so cute. And like, I keep just looking at dogs at the dog park and being like, you're a prime candidate, mister. Like, and look at her, doesn't she want to be a mum? So, anyway, that's that. Just sort of tack it on to the end of this video and keep you guys as up to date as I am about what's happening with our little puppy farm princess. She's not a puppy farm. She is actually from a puppy farm, but she's not being puppy farmed because we're keeping her nice and fresh and not having babies. Aren't we, Bubby? Aren't we? Did you want to have some babies?
Did you? I know you did. I did. We both did. She's like, I didn't. I didn't want to fucking lose my figure. Like, I worked hard for this body. No, she didn't. She fucking is such a fat tub. Like, she keeps falling off things because she's so fat. Like, and so, like, our diet. Ow. Her diet. Not my diet. I don't need to diet. I'm thin. <laughs> sorry, Bubba. So, sorry that I don't need to diet. Sorry that you do. So, she's, her new hobby, she climbs up the kitchen bench like she climbs up on the table over on her toy box like up to the kitchen bench like and i came home twice this week with just everything on the ground broken her looking like a pig in shit like happy with whatever she's eaten and that's fine you mean she don't get fed the next night she asks you want a snowball you want a snow can you hear grinder going off who is popular today i am stevie's getting laid Stevie's getting laid. No, I don't want to sound like a whore, but like, that's not that uncommon. There shouldn't be a happy dance and a song for it, but there is. Stevie's getting laid. Stevie's getting laid. I think the builders just knocked on my door. That's awkward. Ooh. So like, it sounds like they're drilling through my door. I mean, soaring through my door. So I'm going to go get myself laid, slayed, and played, and drink some lemonade. Hope you bitches keep it classy, because I won't be.